Okay, the, the last thing that we did was showing what happens when you do not wedge the clay. And I'm going to show you how you wedge the clay. Wedging the clay allows you to be able to work out any air bubbles, but it also creates a elasticity for your clay. So this is how you do this. So when you have the clay, you're curving this, and you're working out air bubbles. Also, you're, you're moving it. Okay, see that? Okay. Now what you do is you want to decide just how big you want to be able to have the body. And you have the pre-drawings, so you want to make sure that you're looking at something worthwhile. So you have a little dragon here coming like this. And we don't want to have the dragon coming straight down. And so the designer wants to be able to have it on an angle to make it look more interesting. And I think that's cool. So we're going to uh, have that over there for a second. We're going to show you how to pull a, a handle with water instead of just cutting it. Okay? Make this wet. And you start rolling it. And you start putting a, a, an indention right there. This is where the finger goes. Okay? That's for a normal one. But we're going to go ahead and make it into a dragon. So we're going to make the, the body. The body's going to be a little bit thicker here. And see, once your hand is at a certain, certain space and size, you can be able to control that really easy. You can feel anomalies, you can feel movements and stuff like that. So you just keep moving your hand this way, this way, and find those, find those little motions. Make sure it's perfectly smooth. And you can actually take these and you can curve things like this, and you can create motions. You can do all sorts of different little things and curl this like that, and you curl that as you go. See how that works? If you don't like it, take it back off again and straighten itself back out. Now, what we do here is we will take this, and you can see the scratch right here. You take this, put this right here, Boom. Put a little bit here. Okay. And you'll take this and figure out where the scratch goes and go like this. And then you figure out where that one goes. Curve this up right here. You know that this will sit right there. This one will sit right here. So you come right here. Scratch this one right here. Always smooth this stuff out later. Put a little here. Put a little here. And then you take this, make sure that your hands are fairly clean so that you don't have dry clay sticking down. Put this hand right here. Put this right here. You're going to take this and pinch this off right there so the weight of that is not there. Put this here, pull that off, and curve this. Curve this right there. Okay, and then this part right here is right there. Curve that like that. Now you're going to be able to start moving things around. Okay. And go ahead and hold that right there. Whoops. See, that's what happens. Sometimes these things will fall apart like this. And all you do is you can be able to take this and move this around. Now, this is kind of thick, so you can be able to go ahead and go a little bit thinner. See, I like seeing things bust apart because then you can see, oh, there's ways to be able to fix this. Okay. Okay, so we go ahead, 
we'll scratch this again. Also, one thing that we want to do is that the top here, we may have to go ahead and give a little bit more uh, strength for the top of this. And then we'll go ahead and we'll scratch this again. And then what you'll do is add, add to the, to the guy there. Boom, right there. Now this is more specialty. You need to hold it, hold it tight. And this right there. And that way, you know, hold it tight. Push it in, okay? And there your handle will stay. And then you'll curve these things here, like this, and you'll adjust it as you go. And if you want to be able to take it off, you take it off and redo a couple things. Let this settle itself in. Make sure it's settled nice. Move this stuff in there. And there your handle is. And then you'll be able to curve this. You'll be able to carve the, the, uh, the head of the uh, dragon into here and all this stuff. And then you do this right here. Watch your hands. Make sure your things are not drying so you have a bunch of little particles in there. And you can take this and curve this. But let it settle itself up. Let it set up so now she'll be able to hold this like this. And it'll be cool. But uh, sometimes you want to be able to adjust it a little bit. You can adjust it and move different things. But let it set up for, um, for a while. And also let it get a little bit more um, leather hard. And then you can be able to adjust and move things. But be careful. Once it sets, it's going to start to crack. You can't move it when it starts to set up like leather. Um, it'll start to crack if you're not careful. Okay? Um, this is Hegstead's uh, Pottery Klaus. Uh, Hold handles. See you next time.